So first things first, once you get the sash out of the opening, if you're going to strip it down on a multi-light sash like this, you should number your panes in a logical sequence. Next is the Paint Shaver Pro. I use that to get all the flats uh, scraped nice and clean and it's hooked up to this HepaVac hose. I have finished the paint shaver. You can see all of those flats have been scraped and ready to go. Next is to scrape the flats like that and get everything, all the residue off with this um, carbide scraper. I've got all the flats stripped of the surface layer of paint. Now I'm going to sand them. That's going to vibrate loose any loose glazing. All the sanding is done. And what that's done is expose this line for the glazing and it starts to release any glazing that's going to come out really easily. So these are the tools I'm going to start to use to chip my glazing. See my flat bar, my file there, my number one tools, my window zipper I use to pull the points out, and that's just to scoop trash. This is my beekeeper's tool. You can see I've sharpened the edges as well as this tip here. All of the glazing is now chipped out of these two sashes. Just have to take the glass out of this one here. Um, broke one pane. Put it in this bucket of water right there. The glass is out. Now it's time for the heat gun. I'm going to do that to the profiles. We're going to set the profiles with heat. Hey, this is my beekeeper's tool, hive tool, that I was using to scrape my profiles. I just keep it sharp the file like Grandpa used to do with the lawnmower blade, you know. So some of the tools I used to strip that sash, of course, my heat gun, and I used this beekeeper's tool various sandpapers, 60 grit, 100 grit, sanding blocks, 